A 10-year-old girl in New Jersey is giving a whole new meaning to the term whistleblower. She's using whistles to turn the tables on bullies, and her idea is catching on. CBS 2's Scott Rappaport has a story from Hackensack. It was really scary. I was saying to myself, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Frightened yet defiant, 10-year-old Giada Oates is talking about the most terrifying moment of her young life. Back in December, when she says a 7th grade boy, a bully here at Hackensack Middle School, placed her in a tight chokehold and made a threat she'll never forget. What exactly did he say to you? He said, you will die a silent death. He was holding on so tight, I think he actually meant you will die. Tony Imperiali is Giada's mom. My heart sank. I burst into tears. Uh, and then I became angry. But now Giada has decided to defend herself in a most unusual way, taking her fight against bullies to a whole nother level. <coughs> Another decibel level. Giada says she's now started taking a whistle with her to school every day as protection. It made me feel that I had more power over the bully. In the wake of all this, she says some of her classmates, mostly girls, started asking to wear a whistle as well. Since then, Giada's mom and dad have purchased 90 whistles for their daughter, who's handed them out to classmates who asked for them. They told me, actually some of my friends told me that without the whistle, they would be lost and they feel way more safe the whistle. We tried to talk to the school district about Giada's claims, but the superintendent of schools here declined to do an on camera interview. Instead, sending us a statement reading in part, while the Hackensack Board of Education cannot speak on this matter due to student confidentiality, student safety and security is an ongoing critical priority. While Giada says she's still scared to go to school sometimes and still crosses paths with her alleged bully, she has found a way to protect herself. In Hackensack, New Jersey, Scott Rappaport, CBS2 News.